Hello, this is Blue Storm Wyvern, and I'm storming at you with a new review. And today I'm bringing you the Studio Series Lead Foot, which just came out recently. And I'm so glad I finally have this because I didn't get the original release that was only on the Asian market, unfortunately. And when I saw it on Amazon, the price was just ridiculous. So, in any case, I have this. So. I'm happy. So this is basically a Target exclusive, but I got this from Collection Toys. So uh, I'm finally glad I have it. So now I'm just waiting for Top Spin to come and then I'll have all three movie wreckers. So to take a look at Leadfoot's box here, here you have a nice picture of him right on the side there and he's number 68 in the Studio Series. Of course you got the Transformers Dark of the Moon Battle right banner right there and the Hasbro logo and the Transformers logo there and of course on the side number 68 and there's a close-up shot of Leadfoot <clears throat> and on this side you have a full more of a full body shot and on the back of course you got your standard publicity shots of him in both modes and he takes 18 steps to transform so there you have all of that and of course he's a deluxe figure just like the other two I already cut the tape so that makes it easier and here is his backdrop like a destroyed portion of Chicago from the movie <clears throat> and of course the instructions which I'll be using to transform him and I'm not gonna use all the guns here so I'll just show them off there's those two the ones that go on the front you can that's where all the guns go on him because and I don't also don't want to lose them either so there's all those and there's steel John I'll show him off so here's steel jaw yeah of course he looks like a bulldog like a French bulldog it looks like and he's got two turbines on the back here kind of reminiscent of the G1 figure which was a lion that turned into a cassette for the Autobot Blaster who was a boombox alright so he's not tagged down So here he is, he's a rather stocky kind of character, and there's the Target logo, that's why this figure is a Target exclusive. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to get the instructions open here so I can look off of them as I'm transforming him. Alright, so the first step is to swing down. the top portion here put his well, well not only do you put his head back but uh, you also have to close first you gotta pop this part open let's see if I can do this without trying to break it. I don't want that to happen. Let's 
take a look at the back here. I'm gonna pull them from the camera just one second. Try to. get him to flip his head back okay yeah got it so you want that to show up and it's it's a little more on the gray side rather than red and then once you do get that flipped, then you can swing these faux doors to look like that. And next I'm going to get this door, well get the hood to line up with the, I'm gonna pull this, pull this part out from the from behind as well. And then you flip in the hands. Swing the arms around like that. Sorry if I'm if I keep pulling him away from the camera. I'm trying to get adjusted here. All right, now with the feet, you get to flip them down. And then rotate the foot, the main part of the foot up. He does have a pretty big head. Let's see. Make sure that the feet are connected too. So that they just snap in place like that. Trying to look at the instructions, see what needs to be done here. Alright, <clears throat> so I got all that done. What I've done so far. Alright, so. Next thing to do, okay, I got the arms to okay, so they swing down like that, and then you gotta make sure that they line up. Make sure that the forearms are also that so that it looks like that. Now 
Now the hard part is getting the hood into place. Again, I apologize for pulling them away from the camera a lot. Just trying to make sure that the head goes in the way it's supposed to. And also make sure that the arms tab into the back like that so that it's all flush. Sorry, I, I, I know I keep apologizing for this, but uh, he's just being obstinate here. Ah, so I had to actually fold the head down a little more. And so you have to make sure that it looks like this before you flip the hood into place. And there you have it. There he is in his race car mode. And there's the NASCAR logo right there. And there's the back of the car and the bottom. So, there you have that. So this is what you should, should have it look like. So yeah, make sure that when, again, when you, before you flip the hood down, make sure that it all looks like this before you do so. So you have to flip the head all the way back as as well as this piece to make sure that this piece is right on top of the hood that way it won't fit that's what I was having trouble with so it's a learning process because I'm basically transforming it like immediately so so again there's the NASCAR logo on that side and 42 right on to where the doors are. So there you have all of that. So this was my review on uh, Studio Series Lead Foot. And I'm so glad I finally have him. So now I'm just waiting for Top Spin. Then I'll have all three movie wreckers. And I did get the uh, the first release of Topspin back when Dark of the Moon just came out, but 
The Studio Series are actually way better. They're more they're more accurate. So, in any case, uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.